Hello, we are joined by Dan Bude, uh, who is project manager and consultant uh, for Noel and Claren Eric. Dan Bude, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Perhaps to begin, um, could you perhaps tell us about uh, your work as it relates to SHOP? Well, I'm uh, also in shock with this project. I'm uh, leading work package three, uh, leveraging services into the uh, into the cloud, um, whatever the cloud is. Uh, everybody will still be uh, groping uh, for that uh, concept. Uh, actually, that uh, impression about uh, what it means to them. Nevertheless, it's an operational concept, and uh, you can use it if you like in the interview too. Um, so I'm leading work package three, but I'm also leading a task, uh, the task that concerns the, uh, the switchboard and the virtual collection registry. And um, so I'm uh, participating in uh, the PMB, the program management board, uh, discussing with uh, the colleagues that uh, lead the other work packages, uh, with the coordinator, and of course uh, discussing with my, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, Organization, uh, Claring. Mm -hmm. um, could you perhaps tell us a little bit about uh, those two projects? So the Claring Virtual Connection Registry and the Switchboard, and their importance in the context of uh, Shop. <laughs> well, the Claring Virtual Collection Registry and the Claring Switchboard are tools that were originally built by Claring in the context of other projects, and. Um, when I look at those tools, and also my colleagues look at these tools, we always had the idea that, okay, these tools are good, they, they are prom promising uh, data management tools, but their range of application could be far wider than just declaring infrastructure itself. And we saw that um, the shop project would offer us an opportunity to talk to the colleagues from the other research infrastructures to uh, see about what they would think about the usability of these tools in uh, the research flow for their um, researchers, uh, so flesh out use cases. Um, this entails also, um, of course, learning about uh, the, the specifics of their infrastructures, seeing what adaptations need to be made, uh, seeing if it's feasible because, well, we are a limited project, even if we are, uh, you say, um, well funded. Uh, and, and also, uh, let's say, build, building up the network to discuss these uh, applications. Um, so, yeah, so that was the, the uh, purpose of Task 3.6. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, beforehand, we had some ideas about uh, what, what kind of problems uh, could be solved by the switchboard and the virtual collection registry and um, during the uh, during the project we had uh, uh, input uh, now we have uh, other ideas newer ideas so it's not ended yet we will uh, continue with developing the switchboard and virtual collection registry and um, we also see uh, good opportunities beyond uh, the SSH uh, to uh, use the, uh, these two tools. Um, that's why EOS is also important. Um, from the perspectives of the SSH, of the social science and humanities, what would you tell researchers to summarize the value of these tools to them? <clears throat> I would say that, for instance, everybody that's interested in interdisciplinary research that will, um, let's say, can, can select data from the repository systems uh, from the different data domains. Huh? Uh, for them, the uh, virtual collection registry would be a um, good opportunity to create these interdisciplinary collections because you can use the uh, collection registry there to first make selections in repository uh, in SESTA, then uh, Daria and then Clarin and Together, you have then a uh, what we call a virtual collection that transcends the boundary of the uh, the data domains, the silos, as mm -hmm. uh, Case called it uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to using yeah. the registry itself, when it comes to using the tool and the, the switchboard, 
What top tips would you give to SSH researchers? Top tips? Um, well, I'm not a researcher first. <laughs> I'm an, I'm an infrastructure guy. Uh, and although I practice the, uh, the tools, of course, in Docker and Docker software, I don't have a, let's say, a specific uh, uh, research workflow in mind. But I would say we have been working, we are still working on um, the documentation that should go along with uh, the switchboard and the uh, collection registry. And uh, we will do our best to, uh, let's say, to have it up to date with the latest uh, state of affairs. And uh, it should work with, for, for them. If not, if not, I will make sure that there is an adequate feedback channel where they can uh, let's say, complain, but also <laughs> add uh, new suggestions. Yes. Uh, the, it was very nice uh, in my session. I don't know. One of you were present there, but uh, we had a session yesterday about uh, the virtual collection registry switch off, but also some other tools. And there was uh, Laura Morales, who's an investigator, uh, there in the room. And she said, Well, I tried it out, and it's true because we approached her already at an early stage to look and to help us a bit to work out new workflows. And she had practiced uh, with the virtual collection registry before. And she said, well, it's all fine if your data is in an acknowledged existing repository. Uh, and that's true because that was where, the, where it was originally made for. But she said, I'm also browsing uh, the web and I'm seeing uh, pieces of information uh, there and here. And I would like to add that to the virtual collection. And we kind of know this, uh, let's say, this use case because, um, and it's called web annotation. Huh? I don't know if you know that term. And we tried to do something for web annotation in a previous project, which was called Basish. And um, although it, it, let's say, the tool never, never um, had, had uh, great use, uh, we of course built up experience there how we would do this. And um, yeah, so that's that's an idea. We should try to combine the functionality of uh, web annotation with the virtual collection registry, so that um, the users can indeed combine um, properly proper hosted resources from repository systems with things they find online. Dan Ruder, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.